Hi guys, welcome back to another video, part of my 10 days of skin throughout the month of March. I am sitting here today, we're gonna do just my current nighttime skincare routine. I was already filming, so I just decided to bring all the products from the bathroom right here. So we're here. Mwah. So I'm gonna be going through everything that I use for my nighttime skincare routine. It has changed quite a bit from the last nighttime skincare routine, whenever that was, but I know that I change my skincare pretty often depending on what's going on with my skin. So I changed it a bit and I wanna share it with you. So let's get into it. First things first, I have makeup on, so we gotta take it off. I'm gonna use the Neutrogena makeup removing wipes to get off as much makeup as I possibly can. So once I am done removing all of my makeup with the makeup wipe, I'm gonna move on to a second step for removing my makeup and I use the Bioderma and this is just their micellar water and it is amazing. It is the only like makeup remover that I could actually put like on my eyes and it not irritate my eyes or um, like get in my eyeballs. So I use this mainly to remove like my mascara and any eye makeup and then I use kind of one pad to just wipe across my whole face to remove any excess. Then I'm going to use my Glow Tonic Toner from Pixi to clear out any um, more makeup and to basically just kind of get it out of my pores clearly you guys can tell how much i hate washing my face i'm not really a big face washer especially when it's when i'm tired and i'm cold and i really just don't want to put water on my face i do these three steps to really just remove the makeup from my face Like my face is all clean I have been using these guys whoa almost dropped it I've been using these guys for some time these are the facial radiance pads from first aid beauty I really like to use an exfoliator or a pad or a peel or something like that that is just going to help kind of give my skin a brand new look usually peels and pads like these after a while will take off all of the dead skin on the top layer um, really even out the skin get rid of any scarring like these guys on the side of my cheek on my chin so it's been working thus far this is a more slow process it's hard to see results immediately but this is what I've been using and it's going good so far Next is my serum. This is such cool packaging. First of all, look at it. I know it's so cool. But this is the Private Doctor Define Minus Serum. This is a serum I've been using lately and it focuses on creating definition and minimizing lines. And honestly, I have noticed a small difference and kind of just my face looks really good overall despite the scarring um, from acne and things like that. So I've been really liking this. I've been using it day and night. It does have this a little bit of like a tingly sensation when you put it on, which freaked me out at first, but um, I don't really know what it's from. Oh. Wow, I should read the back of the bottle sometimes. Product may tingle upon application as the Vicule ingredients absorb. Very interesting. So when it tingles, you know that it's working. Next is my eye cream. I've been experimenting here and there with different eye creams to figure out which one I really want to use. I use a different one during the day and a different one during the night, but this is the one that I'm currently using. This is the Magic Eye Rescue from Charlotte Tilbury. Nice and brighten, kind of like your basic brightening and depuffing eye cream. Next, I'm gonna apply my face cream. You guys, this smells 
so good despite the fact that i love fresh and we know this and all of their products are amazing and the lotus youth preserve line the entire thing is amazing and super great for sensitive skin this cream right here smells so bomb i i don't even know what to compare it to like literally lychee in in a, in a jar oh i just want to eat Then I have to apply lip balm always. I do it day and night throughout the entire day. It is a must for me. This is the Kiehl's Lip Balm, number one, number one. And usually at night I apply a super generous amount. Okay, I have one more step. It is optional. I do it when I feel like my skin needs that really like true extra hydration. I'm going to use the Avocado Melt Sleeping Mask from Glow Recipe. Not only does this smell so good, the packaging is absolutely adorable. I mean, look at it. Look at it. It's so cute. So I really just generously apply this all over my face and neck. I blend it in a good amount just so that I'm not getting it like all over my pillows and stuff. <laughs> Alright guys, that is it for this skincare routine. <laughs> this is my current nighttime skincare routine. Just focusing on what my skin needs most at nighttime and to make it look beautiful when I wake up in the morning. So that is all for this skincare video. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below and let me know what you've been using recently in your nighttime skincare routine that you've absolutely been loving. And maybe I will feature it in a future video. Thank you guys always for watching. Make sure to subscribe to me right here in the center of the screen and check out all of my other videos on the side. Love you guys and I'll see you really soon. Bye!